Mountain Chums, me again today. Today we're doing a six Wainwright day. It's bank holiday Saturday, so obviously we're doing skidder. Now I know what you're going to say, and it's fine. Although I'd be very surprised if the top of skidder isn't absolutely heaving. We are following Wainwright's suggestion and coming at it from Ulluk Pike. Wainwright said, there is no doubt in my mind that by far the best approach to the top of Skidder is by way of its northwest ridge. This offers a fine expedition along a narrow crest in exciting surroundings and provides excellent views throughout. And there dead ahead is Ulluk Pike. You can even see people on the ridge, so I say people have started pretty early. It's going to be a hot day I think, so it's not a bad idea. Hopefully today's walk will provide us a lovely round, starting at Ulluk Pike, going up over Carl's side, get a little man, skidder itself, then round to Bakestall, and then down past some fabulous falls apparently. We've only made a tiny bit of height, but already the views are amazing. This is the side of skidder, Baco skidder indeed, that you see from Binzi. And it's got more valleys and undulations than do you imagine? To begin with, on this route, we follow what appears to be an old miner's path, or path, which is quite a civilised way of starting a long walk. To my left is Southerndale Beck, and the path follows that beck, and it's beautiful little waterfalls, quite a long way up the valley. The path has a junction off to the left over a bridge, which I think is probably another way up to Skidder, but we're not doing that today, we're taking the right-hand fork. Turn left, heading up the snout of Ulluk Pike. The cloud keeps coming and going from the top of Skidder, which I can't say I'm enormously upset about because as a ginger man, the sun is my natural enemy. But we're getting great views down over into Bassenthwaite, across to the Irish Sea. Don't know if I can see the Isle of Man today. Maybe. Certainly across to Scotland and Little Binsey. But for now, just a slow and steady plod up the hill. Currently on the edge, heading up to Ulluk Pike, also known as the Allerdale Ramble, which feels a lot less effortful than I feel I'm putting in at the moment. This looks like a fun bit up ahead, and I think after that we may be nearly there, for Ulluk Pike anyway. Not all that easy to identify the correct path, but do your best. A little steep bit, just to properly wake you up of a morning. Well, I think that's probably the worst of it. There you go, that's Ulluk Pike, 691 metres, 2,267 feet. A bit misty, but a good view of Derwent Water. From here we carry on over Long Side and up towards Carl Side.
there we go, long side. 734 meters, 2,408 feet. Technically, it's not really its own summit, although Wainwright made it one, so that's what we're doing. Technically, it's a southwestern slope below the summit. Tomato, tomato. That's our second Wainwright of the day. From here, we carry straight on into the never ending mist to Carl's side. From there, we head on over to Skidder Little Man. Come on then, let's go and see Carl. Mr. Side to you. I'm reluctant to say there's a crossroads here because there is a path that goes up to the top of Carl's side. But I'm not sure I want to encourage it, so I'm going to carry on round to the left where I know the path breaks right to the top and doesn't damage the rest of the fell. So here we go, turn right here to Cull side. Already getting a lovely view down into St John in the Vale and beyond it the Helvellyn range, which is still a little bit covered in cloud. But there's still blue skies around. It's a lovely mix of everything today. Carl side, 746 meters, 2448 feet. Our third Wainwright of the day. sun's come out but so has the wind so <laughs> it's a cold wind and a warm sun it's one of those days we're heading now over to Skidder Little Man we're going up the right hand of the two paths here both of these paths seem to be pretty much straight up but then Skidder is over 3,000 feet so you have to get there somehow <laughs> We are making progress and I see the diagonal footpath off to the right which given that the ascent all the way to the top of this little bit of hill is entirely unnecessary I'm going to break right and go across given it is quite a clear path. I don't normally like walking across the grass, but there is, you may have to trust me on this, a bit of a path along here. It is also mentioned in some of the guidebooks, so I'm not exactly going out on a limb. And Skidder Little Man has just come out of the cloud, along with dozens of people <laughs> who are on it, and all the flies.
skidded little man. 865 meters, 2,838 feet. One of the best views in the lakes. Well, we've got Blencathra off over there, the Helvellyn range over there. Derwent water, cat bells, the Coldale horseshoe, and then of course Skidder itself. Hey. Two more Wainwrights to do today. The first is the mighty Skidder. To be fair, from here you can't really miss it. <laughs> Keswick, this lump feels like Skidder, but it isn't. There she is, that's the summit over there. Not this little tricksy one. And here, coming out of the mist, it's Skidder itself. Put the fell race on today, hence the bell. We're not going to get a cloud free top, but you know, we tried. Well, that's good, uh, 931 meters, 3,054 feet, the sixth highest hill in England, and the first summit of the Bob Graham Round. From here, we head north over towards Bakestall, and from here into the mist. So we followed the line of the fence going north and then it bends slightly north nor east perhaps and that heads us towards Bakestall which is our way off. That's our first glimpse of Bakestall which looks very small from here which I have to say is quite a relief. There you have it, that's Bakestall, 673 metres, 2,208 feet. There's a cairn at the end of the path, but that is not 
the summit, although don't let that stop you. There's some cracking views. Bakestall, our sixth and final Wainwright of the day. Come on then, let's get home. From here we descend down Burkitt's Edge, down to Black Nettle Hawes, and across the other side of the valley you can see the Cumbria Way, which we will join in a minute, which will take us back down to where we started, or close to where we started. seems to run out and become bog. Never mind, take it slowly, find our way through the mire. We're coming up to Whitewater Dash, the waterfalls, which are supposedly so nice beautiful in the Lake District. We've now joined the Cumbria Way, which means that the way off is quite straightforward from here. It'll be a little wiggle when we get to the road, but as the footpath goes, it is pretty plain sailing. So off to the left of the ominously called Dead Crags. I mean, at the moment, with the sun setting, they're in the shadow, and they look impressive enough without being called Dead Crags. to the road and then we turn left and go along the road for a little way before rejoining the footpath which should take us back home. Nice to end with quite such an epic view of where you've been during the day. Ullock Pike, Skidder, might even be Bakestall.
there we go. That pretty much brings us back to where we started. And that's about it from me for today. Thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. If you've enjoyed this, do please like and subscribe. And join us once again, hopefully, for another Wainwright walk. Stay safe. So up off to the left are the uh, ominously called dead crags. <laughs> I might do that again. <laughs>